Hello everyone, welcome to Olive Board. My name is Dinkar and I welcome each and every one of you in this session. I hope everybody is doing great, feeling healthy and fine. Once again, welcome to the morning dose of the PIB session. As you all know that every morning we are coming with some of the important news facts with to discuss with all of you. So once again, I welcome each and every one of you in this session. Thank you so much for joining the session in the morning. And again, we have come with some of the very important news and facts to discuss with all of you so let's start with our session before starting of the session uh, i'll just say the people that those who are recently joining the session they can just like the session so that they can register their presence in my class okay and uh, so first of all let me tell you regarding our special youtube channel okay so we have a specially launched regulatory body channel in which right now you are viewing this video okay so this is a special pib session press information review session every day new important news that is coming from the government or any special scheme that is coming from the government we are discussing okay so here quant and reasoning practice for rba sab uh, these are some of the important playlists pib sab concept descriptive answer writing live mint important weekly esifm concept these all things all things we are discussing with each and every one of you so i hope everybody is getting the benefit of it and let's start with our session but before going uh, let me introduce to our telegram channel this is a very important telegram channel uh, to tell you regarding uh, the various important uh, content that we are providing okay from here we are providing you all the content and related materials to each and every one of you so this is our special telegram channel where you will be getting news of the day where you will be getting question of the day where you will be getting mind maps top 10 mcqs pdf and everything everything you will be getting on this okay you just have to go to a telegram channel and you have to navigate i have already made a video on how you can navigate in the telegram channel and how you can find all the materials over there it is very easy to find a material you just have to use some word and all the things are there okay and this is our highly dedicated team riti ma'am is there mine sir is there inka sir tanvi ma'am arzu ma'am is there they are taking high quality lectures like these so please set the timing set the reminder of phone and attend these lectures okay so question number 1 which city is hosting the 7th edition of the in japan india maritime exercise 2023 chimex 23 Tokyo, Vishakhapatnam, New Delhi, or Mumbai. So I'll be waiting for thirty seconds. सब लोग thirty seconds में answer करेंगे. Which city is hosting the seventh edition of the Japan India Maritime Exercise twenty twenty three? Which city is hosting the seventh edition of the Japan India Maritime twenty twenty three exercise? Tokyo, Vishakhapatnam, New Delhi, or Mumbai? Which city is hosting the seventh edition of the Japan India Maritime Exercise? Okay, we have Dinesh Kumar Ramaswamy saying first ka A that you are saying Tokyo. Very good. Let's see the answer whether the answer is correct or not. We will be seeing the answer right now. So the answer of this question is Vishakha Patnam. Okay, it is Vishakha Patnam is hosting the seventh edition of the Japan India Maritime Exercise 2023. That is called Chimex 23. okay now so the seventh edition of the bilateral japan india maritime exercise is hosted by the indian navy indian navy off the coast of vishakhapatnam from 5th july so jo uh, so they will be starting from 5th of july and it will be done till 10th of july okay so this is going to mark the 11th anniversary of jimex since its inception on 2012 okay So since 2012, it is the seventh edition of the bilateral Japan-India maritime exercise. So there are a lot of uh, guided missile destroyer, uh, and we have anti-submarine warfare covert operations. Everything will be participating. These are some of the important uh, uh, vessels that will be taking part. Okay, these are some of the important vessels that will be taking part. INS Shakti. Okay, a merit a submarine maritime patrol aircraft P eight one Tronier ship born helicopter. These all will be participating. The main purpose of these exercise, main purpose of these exercise is always to build a confidence, to focus on humanitarian assistance and disaster relief measures. Okay, to have a good interoperability communication among each others. 
okay so this exercise will be conducted in two phase harbor phase in the visakhapatnam okay where proper professional sports and social skills interaction will be done over there okay and uh, all the exercise which are related to the naval warfare sea warfare uh, then we have a land warfare system or are there okay so surface subsurface and air domain under all these domains these exercise will be conducting so here we will be helping so we both navies uh, japanese navies and indian navy will be understanding new things from each other new best practices from each other okay so that a kind of a confidence building measure can be happen okay so it will have a good cooperation mutual cooperation that will be developed among them okay and two they will be helping towards the maritime security area because the pacific ocean the indian ocean are the places which are high sea lanes where a lot of business a lot of traffic is on going on so to able to secure these line these kind of uh, exercise are very very important now question number 2 consider the following statement regarding production link incentive scheme it is a part of national policy on export promotion in india it proposes a financial incentive to boost domestic manufacturing and attract large investment in the electronic value chain one only two only both one and two neither one and two consider the following statement regarding production linked incentive scheme it is a part of national policy on export promotion in india it proposes a financial incentive to boost domestic manufacturing and attract large investment in the electronic value chain what is the correct answer one only two only both one and two only or neither one or two which of the following is correct production linked incentive schemes those who have recently joined uh, if possible please like the session uh, everybody please like the session who have recently joined the session it is very important for me keep answering keep answering waiting for the people to answer the question consider the following statement regarding the production link incentive scheme is it a part of national policy on export promotion in india it is proposed proposed a financial incentive to boost domestic manufacturing attract the large investment in the electronic value chain Thirty seconds waiting for you. Okay, so let's see the answer. Let's see the answer of this question. So the answer of this question is Dinesh Kumar Singh C. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So the answer of this question is two only. to only it is it proposes a financial incentive to boost domestic manufacturing and attract large investment in the electronic value chain okay this is the correct answer option number 2 is only correct why because this pli scheme was notified as a part of national policy on electronics national policy on electronics it is not the part of export promotion in india right now okay it has been launched as a part of national policy on electronics so it will provide financial incentive to boost domestic manufacturing so this is the correct answer now how much incentive does the pli scheme guarantees to the companies for step by step sale of manufactured goods how much incentive does the pli scheme guarantee to companies for the step by step sale of the manufacturing goods 1 to 3% 4 to 6% 7 to 10% or 11 to 15% how much incentive does the pli scheme guarantees to the company for the step by step sale of the manufacturing goods i'm waiting for the other people to answer okay we have krishina 
Krishina is answering that is B that is four to six percent. Okay, I'm still waiting for the other people to answer the question. Still waiting, still waiting for the other people to answer the question. Keep answering, guys, and those who have recently joined, request you to please like the session. Keep answering. How much incentive does the PLI scheme guarantee to the companies for the step-by-step -step sale of the manufactured goods? Dinesh Kumar is saying B, that is 4 to 6 percent. So let's see the answer. Yes, the answer is 4 to 6 percent step-by-step sale of the manufactured goods. That is the correct answer. So recently, Minister of State for Electronics, Mighty Ministry Rajiv Chandrasekhar is going to address the Digital India Dialogue session of the PLI 2.0 scheme of ID, ID hardware in Bangalore. Okay, one minute. So the focus is on to make the domestic manufacturing and compete with the imports. Okay, so the purpose is that we should start developing the advanced processors, intellectual properties under the field of electronics and embedded systems. So the consultation discussion will be happening in the Bangalore on the sideline of the Digital India Dialogue session of the PLI 2.0. Okay, so we all know that government is providing a lot of incentive to the various domestic manufacturing companies. Okay, so the purpose is to provide financial incentive and encourage the localization to encourage the the localization of IT hardware component and sub assemblies right so what all that area which they are focusing on they are focusing on laptops they are focusing on tablets all in one PC server and ultra small form factor devices matlab, jo ki basic devices hoti hai, which are put under to a main assembly line okay so what is the main purpose that we wanted to make sure that we should make india a domestic it hardware hub okay so we wanted to make india we wanted to put india under the concept of champion sector under this whole industry okay so in may government has launched pli scheme 2.0 for it hardware so this budgetary outlay has 17000 crore ka, okay it is the 17,000 crore was first cleared in 2021. So, what is domestic manufacturing ko hum log promote kar rahe hai, okay? So, with this scheme, what exactly we are going to get is that around, it will generate the total production of rupees 3.35 lakh crore, right? And with bring the additional investment of rupees 2,430 crore in electronic manufacturing and it will generate around 75,000 additional direct jobs so ye pli 2.0 scheme hai wo ki budget for it hardware for it hardware ab hardware mein kya kya aata hai aapka laptops hai tablets hai all in one pc hai server hai ultra to ye jo hai important focus is pe hai the focus is mostly on these products 17000 crore rupees targeted industries are mobile and light component manufacturing electrical component manufacturing medical devices automobile auto components Pharmaceutical, solar module, metal, machine, textile, apparels, white good drones, advanced chemistry. So, these are the industry hai, ye target focus areas. These are the sare focus areas. Hai. Okay, so now, how the calculation incentive? Ka kaise hoga? How they are going to calculate the incentives? It is based on incremental sale. Jitni sale aap ki badhti jayegi based on that incentives will be also keep on increasing from 1 to 20 percent, but focus is to hai aapka 4 to 6 percent pe jyada tar hai okay so some sectors like your cell batteries textile drone industries okay so performance and local value addition done over a period of five years so normally five years ka is mein jo hai time period liya gaya hai okay ab jo pli scheme thi wo actually kya hai kyunki pli scheme bohut pehre launch huya tha thik hai so pli scheme was especially focusing on production link incentive government has set around rupees 1 lakh 97 thousand crore especially for this scheme okay for various sector or additional allocation diya hai 19500 crore ka especially for solar pv modules solar pv modules ko okay so ye jo hai scheme launch hua tha march 2020 mein during the time of covid 19 Okay, so government wanted to boost the manufacturing capabilities. A special focus has been given to mobile, allied component, electrical component, and medical devices. Now, the industries that are in PLI, they are 
ऑटोमोबाइल केमिकल वाइट गुड्स मेडिकल डिवाइसेज ऑटो कॉम्पोनेंट फूड प्रोसेसिंग टेक्सटाइल एपरल सोलर मॉड्यूल टेलीकॉम रिनेबल एनर्जी फार्मास्यूटिकल एविएशन मेटल माइनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम्स ये सारे के सारे जो हैं ये इम्पॉर्टेंट इंडस्ट्री हैं जिसको गवर्नमेंट ने पी के अंडर रखा हुआ है ओके सो पी एल आई टू पॉइंट जीरो स्पेशली ऑन आई टी हार्डवेयर जो अभी लॉन्च हुआ है पी एल आई टू पॉइंट जीरो वो स्पेशली आई टी हार्डवेयर के लिए है उसका बजटरी आउटलेट सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड करोड़ है अराउंड इन्वेस्टमेंट विल बी कमिंग टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी करोड़ ओके सो प्रोडक्शन इज अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फाइव लैख करोड़ और डायरेक्ट एम्प्लॉयमेंट सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड करोड़ ये ऐसे आपको नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट इज द टोटल आउटले ऑफ द स्कीम फॉर एक्सपेंशन एंड मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ फायर सर्विस इन द स्टेट What is the total outlay of the scheme for expansion and modernization of fire service in the state? Rupees one thousand crore, rupees five thousand crore, rupees ten thousand crore, or rupees five hundred crore. What is the total outlay of the scheme for expansion and modernization of fire service in the states? Keep answering. Those who have recently joined, please like the session. Dinesh Kumar is saying C. That is rupees ten thousand crore. Okay, still waiting for other people to answer. What is the total outlay of the scheme for expansion and modernization of fire service in the states? Rupees ten thousand crore. Rupees five thousand crore. Rupees ten thousand crore. Rupees five hundred crore. ओके सो लेट्स सी द आंसर द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ हाउ मच रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ इज द करेक्ट आंसर स्कीम फॉर एक्सपेंशन एंड मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ फायर सर्विस इन द स्टेट द स्कीम आउटले इज रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ ओके सो रिसेंटली मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स हैज लॉन्च स्कीम फॉर एक्सपेंशन एंड मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ फायर सर्विस इन द स्टेट विद टोटल बजटरी आउटले ऑफ रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड करो ओके सो द मेन फोकस एंड द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस स्कीम इज टू एक्सपैंड द फायर सर्विस विद इन द एन डी आर एफ फंड ओके जो फायर सर्विस को जो है मॉडर्नाइज किया जाएगा अंडर द एन डी आर एफ ओके उनकी जो कैपेसिटी uh, है उसको स्ट्रेंथन uh, किया जाएगा उनकी एक्टिविटीज को स्ट्रेंथन किया जाएगा एंड द मोर एंड मोर फोकस इज ऑन प्रिपेयरनेस एंड कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग ओके सो विद अ टोटल बजटरी आउटले ऑफ रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ ओके आर एन एन अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ Out of the total outlay has been kept for incentivizing the state. मतलब जो 500 हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज जो उसी बजट में है उसको स्टेट को इंसेंटिवाइज करने के लिए रखा गया है फॉर देयर लीगल एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वेज मतलब जितना अच्छा रिफॉर्म जितना अच्छा स्टेट में इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर होगा किसी भी स्टेट में सो आउट ऑफ दिस फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ दे विल गेट इंसेंटिवाइज अंडर दिस स्पेशल फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ मतलब वो जो फाइव थाउजेंड है उसी में ही जो फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ है दिस विल बी हेल्प टू इंसेंटिवाइज द स्टेट फॉर देयर लीगल एंड द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बेस्ड रिफॉर्म्स ओके सो द मेन मेन पर्पज दैट वी वॉन्टेड टू इंश्योर जीरो डेथ and minimum loss of property during the disaster that is the motto that we are taking okay so to modernize the fire service special focus is to modernize the fire service activities and strengthening the fire service in the state okay so here what will be happening under this project proposal is that the state government shall have to contribute 25% except the northeast and himalayan state उनको टेन परसेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करना है ऑफ द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ सच प्रोजेक्ट्स मतलब इसी में ही अगर आपको करना है तो ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट जो है प्रोजेक्ट की टोटल कॉस्ट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को बियर करना पड़ेगा और अगर आप नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट्स हैं और हिली रीजन है हिमालय रीजन है तो आपको टेन परसेंट कॉस्ट प्रोजेक्ट का बियर करना पड़ेगा ओके एंड दिस स्कीम वॉज हैज गॉट इज ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द From the फिफ्टींथ Finance Commission, फिफ्टींथ Finance Commission ने बोला था कि एन डी आर एफ में सर्टेन परसेंटेज 
has to be allocated from the disaster risk management fund so unhone so what they have said is that 12.5% of each ndrf fund and state disaster response fund okay 10% of the total corpus of the ndr national disaster risk management fund for funding of the window for preparedness and capacity building ke liye aapko isko dena hai ye important hai okay now uh, okay question number 5 What is the main objective of the e-SARS mobile app? What is the main objective of the e-SARS mobile app to promote the spirit of vocal for local, to empower the self-help group women by providing them with multiple sources of livelihood, to connect self-help group women with the buyer and the service provider across the India? Choose the correct option. What is the main objective of e-SARS mobile app? What is the main objective of the e-SARS mobile app? What is the objective of e-SARS mobile app? e saras mobile app everybody can answer the question just one minute okay we are getting the answer dinesh kumar is saying d that is all of the options are correct let's see yes the all the options are correct e saras mobile app all the options are correct it is to promote the spirit of vocal for local to empower self help group women to connect self help group women to the buyer and the service provider that is all the options are correct very good answering by you dinesh kumar okay so e saras mobile app has a special focus e saras mobile app has been launched under the deen dayal antodaya yojana national rural livelihood mission okay the main purpose is to support the marketing of the product that has been made by the self help group women ab jaise self help groups jo banaye hue hain usme women's ke jo group hain wo jo products bana rahi hain okay product bana rahi hain craft product bana rahi hain handicraft ke product bana rahi hain okay so they will be all will be especially focus on to marketing of their product special e saras mobile app has been created okay then who is the ministry who is running this scheme it is ministry of rural development will provide the more effective selling the best and most authenticated handicraft product by this self help group women so the app was a initiative ye jo app hai ye initiative hai ministry of rural development ka okay so launched by ministry of rural development right and the fulfillment center will be managed by the foundation for development of the ruler value chain okay jo fulfillment center hai iska jahan se aapke orders wagaira pass honge order fulfill honge that will be foundation for development of the ruler value chain ye ek tarike ka non for profit company hai jisme do jointly hold hai ministry of rural development and tata trust ye important hai जो ई सारस का है उसका आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि फुलफिलमेंट सेंटर कहां पर है और हु विल बी हु विल बी टेकिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट सेंटर हु विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दैट ओके सो दिस सेंटर विल बी हैंडलिंग ऑल द लॉजिस्टिक रिक्वायर ओके इट विल इंश्योर दैट प्रोडक्ट रीचेज द कस्टमर डोर स्टेप इन अ टाइमली एंड सेफ मैनर ये काम होगा एफ का फुलफिलमेंट सेंटर foundation for development of the ruler value chain will be making sure that your product which you have ordered should reach your door steps in a timely and safe manner okay so what is the main purpose is that humko vocal for local spirit ko promote karna hai 
प्रमोट वोकल फॉर लोकल स्पेशल फोकस ऑन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप वोमेंस ओके सो कस्टमर कैन अटेंड बिकॉज ये जो एक ऐप है इसमें आपको बहुत सारे हैंडमेड प्रोडक्ट्स हैंडी क्राफ्ट एंड एवरी थिंग आपको जो मिलेंगे सो यू कैन एक्सेस वाइड रेंज ऑफ हैंडी क्राफ्ट प्रोडक्ट्स ओके सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स में यू कैन हैव वाइड रेंज ऑफ हैंडी क्राफ्ट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ओके सो इवन इन दिस ऐप मतलब अब जी आप जब ऑर्डर करेंगे यू कैन ऑल्सो रेट यू कैन ऑल्सो रिव्यू ऑन शेयर द फीडबैक अंडर दैट ऐप रिगार्डिंग दैट सेम प्रोडक्ट ओके अब ये जो है स्कीम पूरी दीनदयाल अंत्योदय योजना नेशनल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन के अंडर चल रही है ओके सो ये वाली जो स्कीम है इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्लैगशिप स्कीम ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट फोकस इज ऑन टू प्रोवाइड ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑल्टरनेटिव लाइवलीहुड लाइवलीहुड देने का ठीक है उनको पॉवर्टी से बाहर लाने का टू प्रोवाइड एडिशनल इनकम टू द पीपल ओके टू द रूरल वोमन ओके सो ये वाइड रेंज ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज यू कैन गेट ओके सो दीन दयाल अंत्योदय योजना इज अ डिमांड ड्रिवन अप्रोच स्कीम ओके वेयर स्टेट फॉर्मुलेट देयर ओन स्टेट स्पेसिफिक पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन प्रोग्राम जैसे हर स्टेट है हर स्टेट में अपना अपना पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन प्रोग्राम चलता है तो बेस्ड ऑन दैट दे जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दैट वाई वॉन्टेड दिस काइंड ऑफ फैसिलिटीज फ्रॉम यू ओके सो द ब्लॉक और डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैं वुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड आइदर थ्रू एस एल आर आर एम और पार्टनर विद एन जी ओस ओके सो नेशनल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन इज अ रिस्ट्रक्चर्ड वर्जन ऑफ द स्वर जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना ओके ये था उसका रिस्ट्रक्चर करके नेशनल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन कर दिया गया है ओके okay, और ये इफेक्टिव हो गया है मार्च 29 2016 से ओके okay, अब इसके टारगेट्स क्या है नेशनल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन के टारगेट क्या है कि हमको सेवन करोड़ रूरल पुअर हाउस होल्ड को केटर करना है जो 600 डिस्ट्रिक्ट 6000 ब्लॉक्स और 2.5 लाख ग्राम पंचायत में है एंड 6 लाख विलेजेस में है ओके सो वी वांटेड टू केटर टू ऑल दीज सेल्फ मैनेज सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स राइट अंडर द पीरियड ऑफ 8 टू 10 इयर्स सो दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट टारगेट दे आर फोकसिंग ऑन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर टुडे गाइस एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग द सेशन वी हैव स्पेशली लॉन्च द पर्सनलाइज्ड मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम फॉर आरबीआई ग्रेड बी 2024 so those who are looking forward to give the rbi grade b examination next year they can enroll in our personalized mentorship batch a personalized mentorship batch mein aapko ek dedicated mentor milega aapko complete study material milega doubt clearation one by one hoga apna कस्टमाइज स्टडी प्लान होगा आरबीए कोर्स एक्सेस होंगे सारे परफॉर्मेंस ट्रैकिंग रेगुलर फीडबैक होगा मेंटरशिप टेस्ट आपको मिलेंगे और इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन मतलब एक तरीके ये एक इंटीग्रेटेड इंटीग्रेटेड प्रिपरेशन होगी जहां वी विल बी मेकिंग दैट यू फील पर्सनलाइज्ड पर्सनलाइज आपको पूरा इसमें सिस्टम मिलेगा सो यू जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट If you are really serious about your RBI Grade B preparation, अगर आप serious हैं then you can enroll it. But the main problem is that we can only provide हंड्रेड seats. हमारे पास केवल हंड्रेड सीट्स हैं क्योंकि वी वो डोंट वॉन्ट टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद द क्वालिटी वी विल नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज ओके वी कैन नॉट सिंपली पुट एनी नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ओवर देयर केवल हंड्रेड लेंगे उन हंड्रेड को हम लोग ट्रेन करेंगे फॉर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट ईयर एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो अगर आपको देना है आपको अगर आपको लगता है कि यू आर वेरी सीरियस तो यू कैन ज्वाइन बट मेक श्योर दैट this is only for 100 people okay so enroll now so thank you so much guys bye bye take care and have a good day